Before the video begins, I'd like to thank the people listed on the screen right now for supporting me on Patreon. Oh shit, server's open. Okay, well, here we go. Finally, two and a, almost three hours later, our first race tonight. <clears throat> Good old GT3 Murka at Monza, because I hate... Here we go. What's a good driver rating? I don't know, Mike. I think the top driver rating is 900 something <clears throat> in the SRS. So, yeah. Oh, boy. What is this, Jake? Oh. Beetle Adventure clip. I'll look at that at a time that isn't right now. Anyways, yeah, part three of the sim racing journey, or whatever the fuck this is supposed to be called. Here we go. So let's load my setup that I stole from someone else. Because there's an app that lets you do that. iRacing has Formula 3 car. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Skins are ready. Press the okay. restart button. Okay, legit question, Mike. Do you think it would be... With my current life, work schedule, stream schedule, and all the other games I play, do you think iRacing would be a worthy investment? In any way? Since you're Mr. iRacing here. Would I be commit to per day? Um... About as many as I'm able to commit to this game per week. <clears throat> so it'd be like six hours one day a week. Oh god, I just realized I don't have my HUD up. Practice a lot for races, okay? Then it's not worth it because I don't have time to practice at all. Forgot my HUD wasn't open. Or, er, yeah. <clears throat> what am I doing? Well, I have no time, less than no time to commit, so never mind then. I guess iRacing will never happen unless I can make this a full time thing, which that will never happen, so iRacing will never happen, so nothing will ever happen. So it'd be like spend the fucking five hours of free time I have every day for iRacing. Which I can't do. I just can't. Even like one hour, I can't. I, I just can't. Like, there's literally no time on like a work day that I can commit to just eye racing. It's more of a resting super depression phase today, Jake, than bitch face. So I need to scoot up a little bit. Let's 
just up. Oh, you know, just hating everything, plus that whole fucking disaster that I caused in Emil's server didn't help either. Hey, look, I'm actually retarded and am fucking wrong every time. I'm not sure what kind of physics happened there, but okay. That was pretty bad, Angel. It was, it was pretty bad. So, a hey, qualifying time. It's like, wow, I don't think this... Like, people are overreacting to things. I don't think this is as bad. Oh my god! How wrong you are! Well, you see, Jake, it wouldn't be as bad if I didn't make a mistake 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Not even edgy. I just hate everything about myself. I hate my very existence. The one thing I would love most is go back in time and abort myself. It would be the greatest paradox. Anyways, this is some good YouTube content right here. Everyone loves hearing about self-loathing. Why, though? Because I, I am a mistake. It really is a big deal. to me. I'm sure a lot of people on the server now are like, wow, you're fucking retarded. And also a giant asshole. <clears throat> people make mistakes. Yeah, like how my parents made me. Anyways, Monza is a track I'm fucking garbage trash at, so uh, this will go terribly.
Oh, what has happened up here? I don't know, but they all despawned before, uh, got here, so that's good. Just in time to ruin this lap. Touch the grass. Yep, GTR. <laughs> God, I suck at the parabolica. And I run out of gas as I approach the first turn. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Well, go for another run, I guess. Sausage. Me first, Jake. your Wang fan service here have some more I should do the race with this view to really upset the sim elitists because you know new cam etc oh so do I Mike I just Again, a callback to the guy who uh, got really upset in my uh, Gran Turismo 5 LP. <clears throat> Said I was using the noob camera. That anybody who uses that camera takes it is taking a shit on the developers. You know, the people who actually program that camera into the game. I'm following the guy in front. Yes, Mike. Dude, people have given me shit for the dumbest of things, like 
Why are you using the BMW V12 LMR in GT4? It's the last race in the game. Yeah, but you could have bought this car, which is better and also cheaper. Why did you spend all that money? Because it's the last race in the game. Yeah, but you shouldn't have bought this car. This car sucks. This one's cheaper. It's the last race in the game. Yeah, still. Apparently people don't like the, v the uh, V12 LMR. Also, my shirt is really annoying me right now. Hardcore cockpit view time until Horizon 3. I used to be only bumper cam, I mean, y'all remember that. Until like towards the end of GT4 and Forza 1 where I'm like, oh hey, you know what would be cool? For like the people watching this video, if they saw more than, you know, this. You aren't conforming to my nostalgia. Yeah, that's a big thing. It's like, why didn't you use this car? That's especially terrible in, like, games with a really large car list, you know, Gran Turismo 4. It's like, why didn't you use this car? Because I didn't want to. Yeah, but you should have used it. How about I play the game I want to? There, there's options for a reason. I used to, like, not be able to drive at all in the third-person view. I basically, you know, threw myself into it in GT4 and Forza 1 LPs, and then now it's like I can do it fairly well. Which is good, because, you know, that's my camera of choice when trying to be an entertainer. <laughs> Me entertaining. Uh, that's funny. Make myself laugh sometimes. What is happening over here, other than me almost hitting sausages? And around goes the bimmer into the wall. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll do that plenty of times during the race. <clears throat> yeah, moral of the story is you have options. Use whatever options, like, you know, conforms to your, uh, to your taste. Or desires. Roof camera is probably still my, like, absolutely preferred, uh, camera. Just cause, like, it's basically the try-hard cam for me. It's, like, where I get the best, like, visuals as well as feeling of the car. But, I'm using this camera because, you know, sim racing, something, something, immersion. Okay, so I'm somehow fifth out of the ten people who have finished a lap. Somehow. Am I the only Nissan here? I think I am. I am, okay. Don't want to see, yeah. Like the roof, cam, like the hood cam especially works for me because like I can see exactly where my car is in relation to the track, like the track limits. Oh, hey, the Discord bots are finally uh, advertising my stream. Yeah, five minutes. Eh, sure, whatever. 
I can at least get another lap or two in. It obstructs your view. That's the opposite for me. The hood actually like enhances my view. It's like I like I said, I can see exactly where the car is. I'm just gonna stop here. Let that guy go. Again, it's all preference. Whatever works for you, works for you. It's all good in the hood. This second Lesmo, holy shit. So hard. that lap. This is the second Lesmo and the last chicane that give me the, the most problems. Basically the entire second half of the lap. Sausage! This first Lesmo I kind of have, but the second one is just like, fucking how do I do it? <laughs> Lesmo, those two right-handers, before the straightaway, and that leads down to the chicane. Luckily, I have a pretty good braking visual uh, reference for braking for the first chicane for me. Which helps out so goddamn much. Alright, I'm gonna pra practice pit entry here. <laughs> I don't know if this. Uh, if SRS, like, enforces speeding rules, but. Better safe than sorry. Uh. Okay, here's an okay visual reference. So Vipa, Lesmos are these two right-handers right here. This is the first Lesmo. And here's the second Lesmo. Lesmos are fun if you get them right. Problem is getting them right. 
just realized I was on medium tires that whole session. Huh. Okay. Why are they called Lesmos? I don't know. Looks like I dropped some frames. Might have had OBS freeze on me for a moment there, Rishi, I'm not sure. Is this guy still here? Yeah, he is. Just giving up on running a lap. For a second there, I thought I had the lowest ping in this server. Nope, not quite. Oh, meanwhile, I see we have some super fast dudes here. Dude, the 48.8. It's like actually top five fastest lap here. For this week's activities. Oh yeah, I should probably uh, put fuel in my car. That'd be a good idea. I'm going to stick with medium compounds. Just a second out of nowhere. That's only qualifying, Rishi. In the race is where everything goes to die. Speaking of dying, since I'm starting mid-pack, I'm absolutely dying in the first chicane, because I will break way too early. Uh, the race is one hour, Mike. It has accelerated, uh... I mean, you see it on the left here. 200% uh, fuel consumption, 170% tire wear. Easy escape route if you need to. One hour at Monza, hopefully. It can be. Well, if it can be brutal on tires, then I'm just going to go with hards. Let's just see what the other is going to run. No, it looks like everyone's going to be on mediums for the race. Okay, I'll... I'll comply. Don't overdrive Parabolica. Well, pff, I don't really have a choice in that matter. It's either I overdrive it and do well, or I overdrive it and do shit. There's no in-between. Okay, well. 12 car field. Starting right smack dab in the middle. Here we go. One hour at Monza. Oh god. Go! Ah, that was a terrible launch. Oh god, that was an awful launch. Holy shit. Alright. Then again, this might help me. No, it didn't. We didn't even make it to the braking zone of the first chicane and it already got fucked. Hell yeah. And he gets away eventually. Oh god, what is happening up here? Brakes, brakes. Just stop the car. This guy's gonna defend heavily, so I'm just gonna eh, try to run a line. Audi, okay. 
Audi just fucking yeets it through. Nice. Hopefully he gets penalized for that. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention to what was happening there. Hey, the music is gone. Yeah, I know, my music is terrible. Okay, I'm the only person who cares about the music I like. There is a glicking house in this. Don't follow the guys in front. Let the Ferrari die. Careful with the glick, he's very, um, aggressive. Please make it, please make it, please make it. Okay. Well, there's two rage quits so far. Full screen. What about full screen? This is the full screen. Please don't kill me. The second chicane is going to be the death of me just because of how early I break. The yeah, LPs I got to redo. Uh, all of them. Okay. Mike, there's no sense in trying to coach me through driving it easy because I don't know how. Glick guy is uh, quite aggressive. Oh well. Somehow I'm only an eighth. I know there's only ten people left, but still. Nah, it's not worth fixing the damage. And also changing tires. It takes way too much time. Uh, oh my god. Oh, you mean like showing the whole game on the full... Uh, this, is, this is just my layout. I'm probably gonna change it soon because I don't fucking know. Because I can't do anything right. Mostly. Considering the damage I've received in previous races, it doesn't really affect me that much. Like, I've had severe nose damage in a, well, then again it was the BMW, so downforce probably wasn't that important, but uh, I probably maybe lost a couple tenths a lap, if that. And we're down to nine. Eight. Let's see what we can do here. If 
56.7 for a new year. Okay, so I gained almost four seconds on him. Because I'm not important, Rishi, that's why. Therefore, Twitch won't give me, you know, transcoding. Sakuba's coming down here. You mean Sakuba doesn't have eye racing yet? Or reverse that. Eye racing didn't have Sakuba yet? Despite there being a fucking iRacing advertisement in Sakuba on GT Sport, I'm very confused. Good thing I went with mediums, Rishi. <clears throat> yeah, put in GT Sport billboards, that'd be the best. Okayama's an amazing track. I haven't really ever driven around it except in, like, Race Driver. Whichever race driver it's in, can I remember? <clears throat> Fuck. Yeah, I racing at it in GT Sport on a track that isn't even in I racing makes all the sense. I'm consistently gaining on a mirror. Alright, 10 minutes complete, pit lane's open. But I'm not pitting until as late as possible. No gonna run these tires for the full uh, hour. That's what I did in the last GT3, the other GT3 races. Just gonna take fuel. Go on my merry little way. I don't know. Judging by... Looks like tire wear is gonna be pretty good. I think tires, tires should be fine. Considering everyone else is running mediums, even a couple guys are actually running softs. Which 
which is interesting. <clears throat> yeah, no one's running the hard tire in this race. Oh, and we have a crash. Just mosey our way through that. Guys on softs, most likely, yeah. Give me that slipstream. There's no Punterino BMW. Grip or durability, neither. Okay. I'm actually really surprised I didn't outbreak myself, considering how suck I, how much I suck at doing that, at breaking. Use all of the ABS, hell yeah. <clears throat> so through attrition and lots of rage quitting, I'm up to fifth. That was terrible. I never know how much brake pressure to use under any circumstance. I'm kind of just getting away with 100% here. I don't know what this trail braking thing is. <coughs> Wait, I'm up to fourth? What the hell? More attrition than I thought. Or third? Man's pitting early? Thonking? I don't know what's happening right now. I legit have no idea what's going on right now. <clears throat> okay, well the guy who... Yeah, why would you pit early? Especially since, you know... Like, you're gonna have to add fuel. You might as well pit late and spend the most time with the least amount of fuel. Unless your car works better with a heavy fuel load, I don't fucking know. <laughs> the undercut. I need to think about how much fuel I need to take on my pit stop. Let's adjust that to 15 minutes for now. That's usually about when I pit is in the, f like, between 20 and 16 minutes remaining. Not sure what this guy is doing. Oh, he's getting out of my way. Okay. <laughs> Didn't realize he was a back marker.
Guess I've been getting better at breaking for this chicane, because this was a huge trouble spot for me. Nope, and there's another guy gone. That was awful. What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Pretty much. Went from 12 to 8, so. Seven seconds. Or six seconds, actually. So about that uh, classic GT grid. <laughs> I wonder if that, the douchebag Glick is still here. I mentioned I'm really bad at Monza. Because I sure am. Slap the race. Two PS4 games, rip. It's okay, my PS4 and Xbox One collection isn't that large either. Then again, most of my current gen games are on PC. Yes, tank, do it. Top two are just fucking gone. Already 41 seconds behind them. And it's increasing very quickly. Guess that's what happens when you have an 8th place car running in 3rd place. Or 8th place driver, I should say. Always either turn in too soon or too late for the second Lesmo. Always. Eight Xbox One games. I'm trying to think of the Xbox One games I have that aren't Forza. Because I have five of the six Forzas on the bone. Uh, I have the Master Chief Collection and the Rare Replay. And Final Fantasy 15. That's it. <laughs> That's all the not Forza X Bone games I have. It's 
As far as physical games, I am going to buy Mega Man 11 on the Xbox One. Whenever I get to purchasing that game. Just cuz. Yeah, Horizon 4 is the one I'm missing. Don't have Horizon 4 yet. Kind of waiting. Until at least after I get uh, Let's Go. Pokemon Let's Go. That's like the next like major game purchase I'm eyeing. Eevee. Eevee's fucking cute. I like Pikachu and all, but Eevee's fucking adorable. I don't even care if I'm not gonna be able to evolve it. Fucking Eevee's adorable. I'll get Smash Ultimate. I'm still debating on whether or not to get that. Because, like... If I get Smash, I have to, you know... It would be for the single-player content. I mean, that's the only reason why I got rid of all my Smash games except for Brawl. Because at least I have some substance with the Subspace Emissary. So that was a lot of S's. So, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about getting Ultimate. have anybody to play with, nor time to play with anybody. <clears throat> Biggest problem I have with everything in general right now is I don't have time to do anything. <laughs> like, I go to work, come home from work, go to bed, wake up, do a stream, get ready for work, go to work, bam. That's it. Edit a video. nothing else I can do. Late night smash lobbies, but my late night gaming is for this shit. Tell you what, those top two are in a nice little battle. As they keep chucking out fucking 150s. Here I am, struggling to stay in the 52s. Holy shit, I'm burning more fuel than I thought I was going to. Or thought I was. Gap keeps going up on the cars behind. One of them. And now we're down to a GT4 race. Still not the smallest finishing field, though. I think only five people finished the uh, race at VIR a couple weeks ago, so there's that. Easy points for me, I guess. Depending on how many incident penalty points I have. Moon over the castle intensifies. 
<coughs> the nanny nanny. My favorite GT opening thing is still, and will probably forever be, um, my favorite game. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. I mean, it works perfectly with the visuals on GT, that they use for the GT2 intro, hit the sausage. All My Life is also really good, yeah. I even like the the remix version of Are You Gonna Go My Way. I don't even like, really like Lenny Kravitz at all. But like the extra instrumentation they added to the GT3 version is really good. is really good. Okay, 13 seconds up on third place, who is probably faster than me. Actually, third and f or fourth and fifth are faster than me. You know what that means. No podium for me. It is true. Of course, I don't really feel the blue balls just because I was not aware Moon Over the Castle existed when I first heard the GT4 intro, so... Yeah. Halfway through the race.
to do a good cover version of it. I wish I could do music. <laughs> nope, that ain't ever happening. feeling people are able to do multiple things when here I am barely I can't even do like one thing because I don't have the time and here are people who's like yeah I'd fucking sim race and also play guitar and I probably also do all these other things like, okay. yeah I've played guitar hero and rock band before it's kind of how I fell in love with drumming because I got guitar hero Metallica and uh, the, the drums were a lot of fun. Those consistent fifty three ones, I tell you what. Oh, okay, never mind. Catch me quick. It's down to 11 seconds. And he's re running consistent 51s, so. I did not make music from playing Guitar Hero. I meant actually making music. Too bad I have neither Rishi, speed or consistency. I'd rather not risk it. Plus, I don't fucking know how to do Lesmo 2. I just don't. Like, I take it differently every single lap, and it's always the wrong way. It's consistency in instrument. Is mayonnaise a gender? Just realized the lead battle has, slowed, has settled itself. I mean, you're the sim racer here, Mike. I'm just a lonely, a lowly fuckwit who doesn't belong here. <laughs> just hope I hit someone else. So was that your strat during the STARL? Time will get there. Highly doubt it. skill pace to win, yeah. Clearly. You have the real strats. So we got strats, time to pit soon. have a legit podium yet. And the 
ODST. Talk to Rishi, he'll maybe invite you to the Discord server. I don't know what the hell I did at the end of that first sector, but apparently it was pretty good. Judging by my delta. That, however, was not. How much fuel do I need? I don't know how much fuel to put in. Oops. Like, I want enough. I'm going to play it safe. Just do 100 liters. Miss my box. Oh no. <laughs> it's the glick. Five laps left, 200 liters should work. I know, right? He's right behind me now. Yeah, I like the glick. Don't not necessarily a fan of the guy driving it. Pit him when he tries to pop you. There goes that. Okay, I'm actually really surprised he didn't eat it in there. Oh, yep, he's going for it. Oh, shit. Nope. There there we go. There we go. Ah, yep, yep, there we go. And I'm going to have to wait for this guy. That was my fault. I lost control. All right, well, back where I belong. At least. Crunch time, you mean crunching the sauce egg? Nah, that's that incident was my fault, reflector. Do not scrum sauce egg.
that feel when the top two trade fastest lap immediately. Okay. There's a slight chance I might be able to catch Rodrigo, but I'm not sure. Okay, Brakes, how you doing? too late. Delicious choking. Again, breaking way too late some, for some reason, suddenly. What the hell am I doing? Doing the hardcore suck. No, you get a number seven. Breaking like me, stop it. Okay. Fucked up because you're in a 201.
Yeah, a little bit. It's not that bad. I mean, I'm still running the same lap times I've been running for pretty much the entirety of the last 30 minutes. Also, that feeling I think I'm going to get lapped. Oh, don't spike green in the braking zone, Delta. It makes me scared. Tell you about them green spikes, Delta. I wish I knew what that felt like, Viper. I don't. Chase for fourth is not going to end, or is not going to end in victory for me. I don't give a shit about Horizon Online. Oh, he did. Oh. I wasn't even paying attention that season. Just driving my own race. Hoping that I can at least finish on the lead lap. No, that's definitely not going to happen. Oh, no, it's definitely not going to happen. The leader's right behind me. Spin the first cane then. Just don't die. I'm trying. There's no guarantee of success, but I'm trying. Now oh, there's a blue flag. Oh, never mind, I made it. Kiss the sausage a little bit.
I think I might just let him through heading into the Parabolica. I'm sure he'll be right on my ass after this chicane. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. So much for finishing on the lead lap. Nah, the driver's just really good. Also, Z4 might be OP, I'm not sure. Depends on what the second place is driving. Guess we'll find out in a couple laps when he catches me. Wow, that was awful. Speaking of awful, suddenly I've forgotten how to Parabolica. What like Parabolics, huh? <laughs> I'm not funny. Sausage. I don't know, Seven. I think your humor is pretty Gouda. I don't actually, Viper. Okay, I'm gonna yield here. Oh, he's in a Huracan, okay. So no, the Bimmer is not OP. Forty left, so about two laps. It's unprofitable. Yeah, I even think it's pretty sharp sometimes. Oh, 
don't die, don't die, don't die, not dead. What am I doing? It's going to be two laps to go. It would be cool if I could drive in a straight line. I like the C7. I definitely, it definitely took some getting used to, but I really like the C7 now. It's just like, what is this? A Corvette without circular brake lights? What? I kind of started to appreciate the more aggressive body lines and shit. I have not yet seen the C8. Smooth train starting to get into the saddle. Well, thank you, smack that. To be fair, despite owning this game since early access, I'm also just starting to get into this. <laughs> Ascari A10. Well, I sure don't know what an Ascari A10 looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I finished where I should have. I was the fifth fastest car out of the six here 
Are we gonna make it to the checkered flag? And well, that's where I'm gonna end up, so. Looks like that, cross of Corvette DP. Interesting. Rip tires. Yeah, tires are a little, little worn out. I don't know, Mike. I don't know. Corvette Min Engine pick one. How about I pick both? Okay, well, that was a race the end. Don't really know what else to say about it. Save the replay so I can get a thumbnail. Let's look at this Corvette. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of like a, hmm, it looks like a Ferrari to me. Not in a bad way, it, it just looks like a Ferrari to me. Like, straight up, like a 488 or something. Don't look like a Corvette at all. That's what I was saying about the new NSX. Looks good, but not like an N doesn't look like an NSX. Oh, yeah, they got the results immediately. All right, cool. Oh, there we go. That that was that. That was a bit of a shit show, not going to lie. How many incident points did I get? Six! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Good old 18-point penalty. All right, well... With all the rage quits. <laughs> cool beans. Cool beans. This is fucking race. Somehow Daniel didn't get a single incident point. Everyone else, um, yeah. <laughs> Joe only got five, so you got one less incident point than me. Alright, well, there's that. 